afternoon. My name is Scott Rudd, the Chief Strategic Officer at T3Live.com. Welcome to today's recap and look ahead. 观众朋友们，大家好，欢迎收看今天的直击美股。我是主持人张叔，在纽约向您问好。周二美股收高，我们看到道指今天是连续第七天的上涨，而标准普尔五百指数以及纳斯达克综合指数也是迎头赶上。在昨天市场还有些担忧，包括像科技板块的表现，但是我们看到今天这些板块以及包括像苹果、谷歌、亚马逊、奈飞等等非常强劲的一些科技股也是迎头赶上，提振了整个市场的情绪。而最最重要的是，今天能源板块上涨了百分之二，这也是今天整体市场大涨的一个重要的原因。而今天，包括像美国的原油也是呃有了一个七个月以来的最大涨幅，主要原因是由于欧佩克石油输出国组织与非欧佩克国家在本月月底更有可能去达成这样子的一个控产协议。而这样子一个好消息呢，也是使得原油在今天就上涨了百分之五点七五。另外一方面，我们看到今天有一系列的零售业的数据以及制造业的数据，总体来说是表现出当前美国的强劲的经济，而这也是使得今天市场上涨。另外一个原因，另外一方面，市场依旧关注的是十二月美联储加息的一个时间。对于这个时间呢，现在市场上的一个观察工具，也就是来自芝加哥商品交易所的 Fed Watch Tool 这一个工具呢，显示十二月美联储加息的概率高达百分之九十。而今天，包括像波士顿联储主席出来讲话，也是体现了这么一个加息的预期。好的，更多的消息，让我们来看一下今天的交易员访谈。Hi Scott, U.S. stocks traded higher today, lifted by sharply gains in energy sector. So, how are the tape looking like right now for you? Well, yeah, you know, if you've been watching what、well, we've been doing it together,、mm-hmm. um, I've been trying to get this catch-up play in the S&P cash、yes. and the spiders, and we needed a few things to happen, which happened today, which we'll get into. But overall, you know, if you've been targeting this move in the spiders and S&P cash, today was a, a decent part of it. You look at the chart here. Why were we targeting it? We've been talking about how this descending channel here, the descending trend line. Remember when it took back the eight to twenty-one day and fifty day? There was a nice trade through that. Then what did we need to see? Digestion above it while the moving averages caught up, and then look at this nice move today. So chances are, I would think, you know, whether it's tomorrow or soon, we take out the all-time highs and get to my target of twenty-two hundred plus. Talked so many times about the post-Brexit move, how you had your reflex rally up, your commitment to it, then it took out all-time highs and gave you an eighty-handle move. Looks very similar here, I would say. So if you're in a feeler, you bought more. I think like we're on our we're on our way to to new highs here, and、uh, you should be in some. And yesterday, when we talk about oil, you mentioned that we may see a red dog reversal in U.S. oil. And today, we definitely saw it, and it's like the post the biggest jump in seven months. So what a move! But how does that change the overall tape right now? Well, yesterday、mm-hmm. was the red dog reversal.、Mm-hmm. That was when oil made a new low on the week and month, and then came back above a prior low.、Mm-hmm. And that was your day to buy it and hold some. And you know, I talked about that on Fox Business. I was going to say red dog reversal, which I should have. It would have been funny, but I just said that I bought the USO and also the UWTI. But anyway,、mm-hmm. it's a good explanation of a red dog reversal. Okay, the USO is over 11.50. Oil was over 50. Look at the pullback. Yesterday it traded below 974. Made a new low of I think、um, what is this 956. So you could have bought it when it reclaimed this spot right there. That is when you buy it when it reclaims the prior low. Put a stop at this low. Good day yesterday, and then if you held the third, really nice follow through today. Okay, big percentage gains, and if you saw the BTF, which is what everyone sees my trades on, I also had the UWTI, and the UWTI. I think it was up seven percent. People look to make seven percent a year. We made it in a, in a trade from here to there. Same thing. Red dog reversal below a prior low, sixteen fifty five. You buy it when it reclaims it. Stop at the low. Take a little bit overnight. Follow through. And now you have a gap up. This gap up holds and digests it. Maybe we see a little bit more action in oil. And I think the XLE, which I'm also long from today, I think finally the XLE takes out this resistance and doesn't fail here. Okay, we're coming into big resistance. I think it breaks above it, and I think that the XLE by end of the year could see 74 to 76. But short term, we do have a number today and tomorrow for the overall oil itself. And yesterday, when we talk about sector, we show some concerns because if we expect S and P to hit the new highs, we definitely need this sector to catch up. And today, these names are catching up, and Amazon and Google they're doing great. So, how do you think about these names? I wouldn't say doing great. They bounced today,、mm-hmm. so we needed that bounce today to help lift the psyche of the market, and also they also are big. They're weighted in the S and P, so that's、mm-hmm. what we needed with oil in order to get the 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 spiders higher. So today, you know, does it mean 
the high beta tech is back or fang is back no but today it finally had an up day so we'll see what happens you have a, a pretty harsh descending trend line here in, in apple we'll see if it could take back the 200 day we'll probably need some news that president-elect donald trump's not going to you know cause a trade war with china so maybe if it gets above 107.60 it could act better like you said google had a good day today okay what do i mean by a good day eh. You know what? It actually opened up and traded above a prior high, but still below the 8-day, still below the 21-day. So it's bouncing. We'll see you know, what happens next. It's a different type of trade than it was when it was trying to break out up here before failing. You could do the same thing for Facebook, for Netflix, for, for Amazon. They all had a bounce back, but they still have a lot to prove. 张思光所说的当前市场亮点多多，希望您继续关注我们的节目。我们明天再见。